Oh no, here we go again. We have a Ram TRX truck, brand new, deal didn't go down. These guys want me to buy it. What do I do? Do I buy a new Ram TRX? Uh oh, here we go again. I'm at the Dodge Ram Jeep dealer. Brand new Ram TRX just came in and these guys want me to buy it. The person who ordered it, walked away from the deal. Do I buy it? Why, why does this Ram truck sound better? Because of the cold startup? Uh, here we go. So this is the guy that's gonna get me in trouble today. So, kind of interesting on the interior, which I'm glad it's not all red. I don't like that red, that the rebel. I don't like the rebel interior now. So here we go. Oh, this is just dangerous. This truck's brand new. When did it come in? Uh, 10 days ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The screen. It's got the map on it. Oh, my. So this is, all right. So for the, this is a 2023. 2023 TRX. On the, in 2023 model year on the TRXs, they put the digital dash on them. So it's fully digital. You don't have the digital gauge clusters. And, um, you have digital gauge clusters and all that stuff, but you don't have any of the other ones. You have the panoramic sunroof on this car throughout the whole entire car. You have your digitalized rear view mirror. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this is, this, here I go. I come by to get my gate opener and my key tags, and now here we are. Got the carbon fiber. Oh, wow. So you ordered this for this person? Yeah. Wow. You did it right. I'll give you credit for that. Whenever I order TRXs, I have to order them right. Because if they don't take delivery of it, I'm not getting stuck with it. I mean, this here, just already for me, just really, uh, just, ah, oh, jeez, I tell you, man, yikes. Yeah, maybe this one gets maybe this one gets twelve miles per gallon. <laughs> How much? It's more than that. You think? It's, I think it's nine. It gets fifteen miles to the gallon when you drive it like a normal human being. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not talking to a normal human being. Have no. you have you figured out your customer yet? I think you know. I, I, I know. I know how you are. So. <laughs> yeah, we just cut that out right there, right? I know. Yeah. You, I know you too well. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh jeez. This is dangerous. Uh, and I'm not even in sport mode. See this thing? It's a badass truck. But this I like how I would be the first owner. That's what I'm excited about. Exactly. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Believe it. Really? So this was an allocation to you guys where a guy reached out because he couldn't get allocation and had to come from Montana to get the car. Right. And then, was it just money aspect that killed it or they just got cold feet? So, it's more of payment. He was right. chasing a payment. Yep. And um, interest rates have gone up since he ordered it. have gone up because this car was ordered back in September of 2022. So, that made a difference. Right. So, so there was a lot of factors that played into it, and one of the factors was, you know, the payment. The payment went. He was. He had in his head that he was going to be around sixteen hundred. Right. Right. Um, but he wanted to put no money down. There's a lot of aspects into it. Banks look at stuff, certain things. Your debt to income. There's a lot of factors they look into it. When he looked at his, his payment came back at nineteen hundred. So. Right. So. So he lived in Montana. So if he would have had the deal go down, he just would have shipped it. He never even been here. No. Everything would have been done through the... Uh... Through, through um, electronic. So we do all paperwork electronically, send it over to him, contract-wise, everything. Yeah. He lives in Missouri, businesses in Montana. He's figuring out all sorts of stuff. Right. Like, but we deal with Montana clients and Montana registrations. So we're very familiar in the process of how to get it done. However, there was just certain like discrepancies that was thrown left and right at us at the last minute. Yeah. Um, and we still got it done, but just didn't like the payment. And he got cold feet at the payment. Right. I told him, I was like, look, it's the interest rates. You put it under your business, you're going to get business rates. You put it under your personal name, you get personal rights. Right. You got to make that decision for yourself. 
Wow, this is just so cool. So now this is exciting, but do I give up the Raptor? I mean, so here's the thing, what, what you don't know, and but until Bobby, so I had a really nice wild track I was very content and happy with, and then that Raptor came available, and I really wasn't gonna do the deal, but then it came to closure. I could buy that vehicle and have fun with it for six months, and then then get rid of it, and I would I just I wouldn't lose anything. No. <laughs> I mean, and I don't think I don't mean I wouldn't approach this deal. I, I really wouldn't approach this aspect to this the same way because. And but the brilliant thing that I really thought about was I can always go buy another Bronco. Mm -hmm. The TRX that's not true because you're 100 percent positive that this truck which I believe because the Hellcat motors are being taken away for 2024. So this is it. So 2023. Uh-oh. They actually closed the allocations for ordering the TRXs. Right. So they closed it in January. Then they reopened it back up for a few months, allowing people to order. Um, and then end of February, beginning of March, they shut it down completely. So if you wanted to order a TRX, you are, I'm sorry to say this, you're shit out of luck. the question though for 2024 can you can you order this vehicle so the best answer i can say is nobody knows at the end of the day it's chrysler they can tell you one thing and do the complete opposite so, yeah so but I mean, to me as of right now you're probably not going to see a 2024 from what i know so far yeah because they're cutting they're shutting down the hellcat production right. So why are they going to just have a, just a, you know, a small build of Hellcat motors just for the, well, here's the question. Can you order Durango Hellcat for 2024? No. You're done. Man, so I would have to say the odds are it's over. The odds are it's over. Wow, this thing's badass. Does this have night vision? It does not have night vision. Was well, that even an option? It's not an option either. Okay. So the whole new day, this is a whole new display. Turn on your front camera as you're driving. Oh wow! You can turn on your. And it doesn't turn off automatically. Camera. It'll turn off automatically after like five, ten, like give it like a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. It'll turn off. Right. Um, you can do top and rear, so you can do you know top view of the truck with the rear. Uh, you can do your left view mirror, so you can know exactly what lane you're in, all that stuff. Wow, that's so cool! It's, fully it's like the out. Tesla technology. Correct. Correct. But does this have? Adaptive? No. Does no adaptive. adaptive I'm sorry? It does not have adaptive cruise control. But you can order it. You can add it. But it takes forever to get the truck. Yes. Is that what happens? Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, so what's the sticker on the truck? 101 730. Wow. Wow. Crazy. And a fuel mileage average is supposed to be 12 miles per gallon. Supposedly. Oh, so this truck is full. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. On that. I mean, it's just, it's such a beefy, manly truck. It fits your needs. It's what? It fits your needs. There you go. Right. But, for those watching, I part with the Raptor for the Ram Terex. Wow. Wow. That, that. It's crazy. I'm gonna try to be a little bit. You know what? You, you know I'm gonna. You know I gotta. I gotta do a little back room. I just gotta get this thing a little bit more time. But yeah, go ahead. And knowing how you are, I am not going to ruin the surprise for your YouTubers. Say what now? Knowing how you are. 
you're yeah. not going to ruin the surprise for your viewers. Well, what's that supposed to mean? You want me to just say it? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> You're this is, the truck. Oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> we know this. We know all this. Uh, he's, he, he's getting to know me too damn well. Yeah, well, I, I honestly can say if this deal goes down, yeah, if this deal goes down, because a finance guy is a guy, I can't go down my back road here, but that's okay. We'll just kind of go up to Hamlet Station Road. And we're not going to be in the fiasco of all the traffic there. So we'll get a little driving time there. So, yeah, with that said, I mean, it's so cool just hearing this thing kind of like in the lower speeds. You know what I mean? Wow. I've actually driven one of these in the city. So one of my good friends actually owned the Sandblast Edition TRX. So right. So he's got a full exhaust on it and a cold air intake. Cold air intake. Yeah, yeah. I was almost successful at getting him to do a twin turbo build on the TRX. However, he decided to buy a Lamborghini, so that went out the window. Um, but I drove the TRX in the one in the you know back roads and off roading. It is hands down the best riding truck in my personal opinion. Right. The rides, drives. Yeah. You know, I hear you. I like it. I mean, I like it. I just, uh, oof. All right. Wow. All right. So here, you know, here's what's kind of interesting is this is an opportunity to buy a brand new Ram TRX. They're not doing the ADM stuff. They're really wanting to try to make a deal go. Well, I kind of swap for a swap for my Raptor for this. And, and I just got to think of myself, it's pretty crazy to think that the way this truck's optioned out, and let's just say the guy brought it back six months from now the market kind of stays the same what would you be trying to get this truck what would be your gut you know your i mean i kind of i think i know the answer but i'm curious what your number is i'll use the previous trx's that we currently have so our used trx right brand new depending on the situation when you bought your vehicle right yeah you could potentially get these trucks five to ten over sticker maybe maybe invoice if you know what you're doing and really you know go out there and you're waiting you're willing to wait yeah. nine ten twelve months for the truck right see this you see this car, car right here I sold that person you set of tires. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. <laughs> What's the odds of me driving by that property with all the cars about all the time and get rid of tires? Well, what I'm saying is, here's here's just cuts. If this truck was used 2023, six months from now, my guess is they're asking ninety nine thousand dollars for this truck. We'll be running a sticker. I'm sorry. We'll be asking for sticker. Yeah, so I'm getting an opportunity to buy a brand new one. It's sticker. Or, as he's being diplomatic and being honest to the viewers here, if you want to go shop the heck out of dealerships and try to get the better deal, you know, debatable today's market if you're going to pull that off. But if you did, yeah, but it may take you nine, ten months to get one. So, yeah, whatever. But it's not going to be 20 grand off, maybe five, six grand off, eight grand, I don't know. You know, whatever. But I mean, I'm not really. It depends on the circumstances and the scenario that the dealership is put in. Store, I'll tell you, keep TRXs for that long. They hit the ground and they're gone. The moment they show up on our website, they're gone. So it wouldn't be with us that you'd be, you know, playing that shopping game with. Yeah. Um, because by the time you're shopping around, our truck is gone. Well, what's interesting too, though, I'm going to pay, the, you know, the price for the now satisfy my needs today. Those people, they're now paying the higher interest rates if they have to finance the car. So the guy that ordered a car, you know, and he said, well, I'll just wait six, eight, nine months. Okay, well, like we just talked about, this guy here is like, ooh, I'm not liking these numbers. So, you know, it's, it's a give and take. All right, here we are in this thing in. So I'm not going to be the guy that rags this thing out because I want to break this thing in right if it's going to be mine. But just the way his truck sounds, it's so badass. It is just so cool. And, I mean, I think this is it. I really do. I think this is it. But this is the challenge. It'll be come down to the financing company buying the deal. That'll be the challenge 
for us to uh, overcome. You got your fur on the front. You'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about Tata Dad. I won't deny it is a piranha. So, uh, all right, I'm liking it. Let's just kind of see how it starts to play out. But fiber trim right here, you can kind of see. Nice. It's really. I think. Uh, I think the Ram does a really good job on the interior. I just think Ram a lot of times, you know, just kind of it's like a step above the other guys. Uh -huh. if you know what I mean? So. Uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. This would actually now be, I'm trying to think, this has to be the fifth test drive of the Ram TRX, and of five of them, at least three of them, about four have been black trucks. So, well, you know where it's telling you something. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he means just the car gods, the car gods. So, when did this, when did, it, when did this deal actually become... When did this truck officially come for sale back on the lot? Yesterday, two days ago, a week ago? The same day he said no. I'm sorry? The same day he said no. Yeah, but was that three days ago, five days ago, or a Wednesday. week ago? What? Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. When I came by and got the Gladiator. Uh, see, when I came by here on Wednesday, I noticed she had another black Ram TRX. It was like, what's going on? They got another one? I was thinking, I can't believe, Bob, you bought another use Ram TRX right now when he still already has three. So I was kind of surprised he did that, you know? Not knowing this was an order, ordered one. This is an order. So, and I didn't say anything because I was more fixated on my Gladiator. Ah, so I'm getting ready to get another one. I'm sorry? I'm getting ready to get another one. Oh, wow. Alright. They're not giving up. Oh, this thing's so sweet. Another thing that's really nice is since it's brand new, the tires aren't, you don't, you know, the ones that are used, you definitely get the tire wear, so you get a little bit more noise out of the tire wear. So being brand new, this does ride a lot nicer just because the tires are so new. Yeah. And these big tires, you know as well as I do. And this truck here, I'm not, it's not even, I mean, the speed we're doing right now, I just look down, I'm like, wow, wow. Doesn't even feel like it. Wow, wow. Oh, Right. That's how it feels. It feels like you're, you know, riding on clouds. Now, what was the option? So, what's like the base price of this truck? Eighty-one thousand today, because of the everything's gone up in price. Right. So, what was the big options on this vehicle besides the panoramic, you know, roof? We know that the so, carbon fiber. The base price is eighty-four thousand three hundred fifty-five. Yeah. The color being black was 200 bucks. Wow. Your carbon fiber package, which gives you the real carbon fiber interior and the uh, flat bottom steering wheel with the carbon fiber. Okay. 1295. Right. Then you have the TRX Level 2 Equipment Group, which is a whopping $10,995. Wow, but what is that all about? So that gives you the accent colored door handles, leather trim bucket seats, ventilator front seats, wrapped driver and passenger assist handles, right here is leather. Um, you have your heads up display, full length premium upgraded floor console. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I've been so fixated on this. There I see it. You got the windshield display. Wow. Correct. Okay. You have your instrument panel, LED ambient light piping, radio driver seat mirrors, pedals, memory. Driver seat memory, four-way lumbar adjustable passenger, eight power adjustable pedals. Um, memory, so driver and passenger are both, you know, eight-way power uh, power seats. Right. You have your trailer brake controller, power adjustable uh, pedals with memory, 19 speakers, arming car and premium sound. Your blind spot monitors, heated seats in the front and the back, ventilated front and the back. Ventilated air conditioned back seats? Yes. Get out of here. Really? Wow. Wow. You have your rear 60-40 split, power tailgate, release, uh, rain-sensitive windshield wipers, the whole nine yards. Then you have your TRX red interior accents. You're seeing the red stitching throughout the whole entire car. Yeah. That is a $14.95 uh, package. Then you have your panoramic for the same amount, $14.95. 
Now, wow. we're fully loaded out TRX with every single option, bells and whistles, $111,000. So you get the upgraded wheels, the rough, the trailer. Upgraded the wheels? Yes. So what type of, what, what so is? So it's a $2,100 wheel package. So you get the beadlock um, wheels. Wow, we gotta look at that. Um, also, it's like the black one, but it's, it's like the gray. Great. Anodized. Um, you have a lot of options. And then you have the digital rear mirror. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And what is the tow capacity? You even know. This is so dangerous, very dangerous. Yeah. I actually know somebody who towed a uh, who, who, who towed their Lamborghini Huracan. That was oh. making twenty six hundred or twenty five hundred to the wheels to the racetrack. Oh, nice. Comfortably. Right. So. Oh, this. Wow. Really cool. I mean, it really is. I'm like, I mean, this first really. You know, this is crazy. I mean, drive around. And my Ford Power Boost a lot, which I think has a lot of power. It's that hybrid setup. And I drew, I've driven the Gladiator a little bit. And I got in my, my Raptor today. And I was kind of like, why doesn't this thing seem like it should have more power? <laughs> I was like, what is going on where today, for the first time ever, I rode in my Bronco Raptor. And I was like, it seems like this thing isn't as powerful as I thought it was. What is that all about? Right? I mean, wow. Car gods are telling you something. Oh my gosh. Well, here is the danger part. I've been such a Mopar person most of my life and a Ram guy. And I and I truly went over to the Ford side. And but now I'm slowly going back to all the Mopars. I mean I'm slowly getting my I'm slowly cleaning out all the Fords into the Mopars. Yikes. Say the word. Wow. Wow. Back at the dealership here. Got to do the little walk around and see what makes sense here. And I know anybody watching my channel. This lady here is on her phone. Okay, she's watching us. Thank goodness. Uh, I know anybody's watching my channel. Be like, no way, man. You're gonna give up that badass Bronco, the Raptor. The you're gonna give that up for this? I'd be like, I know. I hear you laughing clear. <laughs> that guy never bought that Rubicon. That deal no, never went down, one. huh? That's another one. Okay, I'm glad I think that. Alright, is this truck right now? I'm gonna have you park next to your car. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have you park the truck next to your car. Yeah, but I just want—I want a little walk around first. Oh, yeah. We got to do a little walk around. I was thinking, be out of the space, you know? Does automatic brake? You have the automatic brake in this thing capability? I definitely want that. All right, so here we go. Yeah, it'd be nice to have deployable steps. Oh yeah, the wheels. I like the wheels. Those aren't bead locks. These aren't bead lock wheels. These aren't bead lock wheels. Huh? These aren't bead locks, are they? No. No, they're not. I mean, I like that wheel though. Yeah, you can get the bead lock wheels without the teams. Right. Here. The exhaust sounds a little nicer. This seems like the other ones. Oh my gosh. Here we are. The bird poop. I don't like that. Uh, here we are. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Yep, here it is. Wow. So, is there storage under here? Okay. But can you get a storage thing? Oh, uh, yes. You can okay. add a storage thing. But right over here, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Storage. Yep, I remember that. Take a look at it. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this thing just, uh, here we are, here we go, here we go, another adventure, another freaking adventure. The truck looks really good. This is the most common color, it seems like. Yeah. And with no steps on, it looks better. See, the deployable steps on the way to go. Uh, those steps there, I just don't like those. You know what I mean? Over here as well. Oh, does he have that's deployable? All right. So now here's the white one, which that's kind of a deal. But, but this is brand new. Does this have more? Does this has a little newer technology on it too, right? It's got updated technology. Okay. All right. Anything? See there, the red. I'm not really. It's just. Eh. I'm not excited about the red. Does this have that rebel red interior? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, yeah, it does. 
This is a level one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, I like the rebel. I don't like that red. I don't like the rebel interior. All right, now you're saying partner next to my Bronco. Yeah. Let me get a picture of it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Here we go. Here we go. All right, we is a leaving. Oh, there's the. I looked at that Jeep. Wow, they're getting sales here. So here we go, leaving the dealership, and I got to do some research. I got to do some research on my end to figure out what uh, this thing's really worth. They give me a pretty good number on it, and yeah, am I crazy? I am crazy. I don't deny it. But I could say, well, you know, you just never know with me, right? And I told you this morning, I told you before I came here, I'd go by to get my gate opener and my keys, keychain, and before I'd leave, I'd have a different set of keys. Wow. And here's it. So here's the debate is if I let this go, can I buy a Raptor down the road? I can because they're going to keep on making them. If I let the Ram TRX go. Can I buy a used one down the road? I can. But as far as them being new, no. And actually with the, the owner is gonna is gonna discount it. So he's already told me I'll sell it to you an invoice. So that's a plus. So he's giving me good money on this. And he's doing his research and the crazy stupid ADM and these things is gone. So people paying a buck ten, you know, people paying 20, 30 grand over, it's not happening. People are paying like 15 grand over but maybe 10 grand over but not 20 30 grand that's kind of where the market is and even for him the dealer he's kind of like woo. he's like i'm going pretty high in your vehicle but i'm doing my research he's like that's kind of what's in the market right now so even he's kind of like yeah but you know he's like hey man to make the deal go down if i can do this i'll do it all right stay tuned wow i just got a phone call if anybody wants a brand new Demon 170, I can get you one. If you want to know more, reach out to me. Wow. I'm not lying.